welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get a little something. Oh, don't tease me, bro. There we go. Some people drink energy drinks, Red Bulls, Monster, what have you. Some people drink alcohol. I drink Mountain Dew. Works for me. Uh, and the consumption of Mountain Dew is a mind melding with matter type of a thing. You have to be in the right frame of mind for it to fully affect you. It's a spiritual experience. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to probably bolt the brakes back on this thing. We're going to... Uh, you might be able to see in the background over there. We've got some old uh, Mac Flow Pass 3 inch stuff that we were probably never going to use again. Possibly, we don't know, but I don't think we are. We are full on into bullet land and basically everything we've got. So, we're going to use that pipe and uh, ball socket to uh, make us something happen over here. So, let me uh, get to work and yeah, let's get to work. All right, about to feel that Mountain Dew taking over right now. Let's get the motivation. Here's a little tidbit. When people say that's groovy or we've been grooving, what they're talking about is my brake pads. So there you go. That right there, that is race wear. <laughs> Are we gonna put new pads on? Hell to the no. Who do you guys think we are? Man, we ain't like those other channels. We just roll. Brad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got the brakes on. Yes, 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 yes. Brakes on. Yes, 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 yes. It's uh, pretty close. Um, we just found some bolts and cut some stuff up. and We don't have it uh, welded. We just got it kind of mocked up. So, to see. It actually, honestly, is better than I thought it was going to be. I don't really do symmetrical anyway, so it looks better in pro stocks. So um, let's take a look at it from the side. Here we are from the side of the car. So these headers are down anyway, so we're, uh, I think we're going to, you know, I can live with that. Uh, I'll bring my. Flux core welder <laughs> out here tomorrow and uh tack it up a little bit and take it apart and you know put a hold on I need to do finish weld on it so and then uh we gotta get a couple plugs we got a hole there we got one on the other side too so and then we'll start it up and see how it sounds but we're getting so much closer just hang on just hang on guys we're getting so much closer we got our junk welded up um i don't have any paint here to paint them but my frustration level is rising a little bit because of that um to be perfectly honest i've never had literally any issues with any intake sealing up except for when i tried to put a non-milled intake on a set of milled heads, didn't know the heads were milled. So I'm beginning to wonder if potentially this intake has been milled at some point because it's leaking on this side. Last time it was leaking on that side. Um, so yeah, I'm, this is a little frustrating. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet i mean when i say that do i take it back apart and just get medieval with like the rtv and stuff i don't know what's going on with this thing i just i i don't know to, i don't know or do we stick the stealth back on it and just you know roll with that <sighs> either way either way i'm starting it up today i don't give a crap if it's leaking water or not who cares as long as it's not pouring in the freaking crankcase, I don't give a flip. So yeah, that's, you know, it's 
one step forward, two steps back. It's, it's Trojan. Why are you doing this to me, Trojan? I'm trying to help you out, bro. I'm trying to get you rolling so we can go race. I don't know. He's being, he's being difficult. Uh, maybe that just means the rewards are going to be greater. We've got our junk bolted on. So um, I think now we've got our we got our two-step button just just loosely wired in. So let's put it on the let's fire it up and put it on the popper one time. See, just for the heck of it. I need you know something to make me feel good. <laughs> Besides that little Mountain Dew I've been drinking. <sighs> Here we go with a feel good cold start. We like, we'll let it warm up a little bit before, before we uh, start banging it. <sighs> Just your set, folks. There's smoke on the water. Um, Two-step works. Uh, we tried it once, and we, I, we may have had the knob a little in between. Uh, then we checked it again. That was uh, like 48. Then we went to like uh, 54 on the highest one and stuff. Just you know. So um, we still got to figure out where or how we're gonna mount it or do it or or whatever. I mean I like it on I like it on 
the button of the I like it on the handle. That's just what I like. That's what I like. So I like to and we go. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure something out. Um, uh, what else? there was something else I was going to say too, and for the life of me, I can't remember what it is now. Oh. If you're a new subscriber and you've never seen Trojan Horse, you haven't watched any of the videos or anything like that, number five is a glugging, oil chugging piece of crap cylinder. It's been like that since I got the car with different heads on it. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, it likes to suck some oil. Um, but, you know, that's part of the charm of it. it. You know, in spite of its limitations, it still runs decent. Or still has been has ran pretty good for what the combination was um, so you know as a matter of fact it's it's literally like so bad that I would bring an extra spark plug with me and change it at the track and put the race plug in <laughs> and put the driver plug back in when I leave or clean the one when I get home um, so that's so that's where all the smoke it's number five just you know it is what it is. Like I say, it's part of the charm of the car, part of the, the people's champion. I mean, this thing, you know, this thing been, has been through the ringer. I mean, before, and that was before I got it. So, he's been a good old car, more or less. Like I say, I've put, I don't know, maybe right at 110 or 12 or something passes on it. If I look it up, I'll put it right there. Um, but, uh, and I think, I think, I think I've only missed two gears in this car. Pretty sure. Because some years ago, someone commented about how many gears I had missed. And they were referring to Super Secret because I did miss my fair share of gears in that car. We had some issues with it, put a different transmission, everything was fine. Um, but they were alluding to the fact that I missed gears all the time in all the cars. I was like, I don't think I missed that many. I know where all the gear, uh, super secret accounted for like 75% of my gear bases. <laughs> so, but I look, this one, I think I miss, I miss gears in this car twice. I'm not, you know, I'm not bragging like, Hey, I'm a great driver. I'm just, this car's easy to drive. And I knew I hadn't missed a bunch in this car, even though I knew I had missed them. I'm pretty sure it was two. Um, and this car's got, Trojan's got a stock T5, technically speaking. It's got a steel bearing retainer on it. Everything inside of it's, bone stocks no they don't have no they don't have the cluster support it don't have anything they don't have the keys in it or nothing it's it's stock and uh still got stock clutch in it it's still got stock quadrant in it and stuff so you know it is what it is but yeah so he's been a good old he's actually been a good old car i honestly don't treat him fair but uh -oh. a little shot so what are we gonna do this intake is aggravating me. Um, I don't know. Let me think. I'll see you guys in the next clip. I got to think. It's leaking. It's got mismatched wheels. It's got radials on the back. It's probably got no brakes, but I don't give a damn. It's off jack stands. I'm pulling it out. I'm gonna drive it down the road and up the road and then I'm gonna park it. That's what we're doing.
All right, guys, sorry about the wind noise or the cogeneration plant being running back there. Um, well, this, we have still got a lot of, we still got a lot of work to do, but this is a really nice, feel good moment that it runs pretty good, you know, fun, you know, whatever. That was a decent first little drive, kind of get things going, a little Bernie. Um, so, like I say, he looks like a, a bag of smashed, you know what? But uh, he runs, and he's off jack stands. Now, let's try and keep him off for a little while. We still got to do something with intake, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what's going on. But he did a burnout, and he ran, and he drove, and he felt pretty good. Carburetor felt decent. I mean, spinning stuff, but... Everything that's a good first drive. Once we get it sorted a little bit more, we'll put some slicks on, some test slicks on it, and be able to whip it around a little bit. But uh, we're getting there. One step forward, two steps back, but we're still getting there. So um, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing, thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. We truly couldn't do it without you, and wouldn't want to. Um, especially, especially. Thanks for watching. And until next time, on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body Videos, home of the People's Champion Trojan Horse, One Year Only Lincolns, Four Drag Vans, Fail TDs, and as always, fighting a good fight against Dr. Fear. We'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.